It is 3.05 p.m. on Thursday. 9.29, baby. It's time to play Moonbreaker. It literally launched five minutes ago. Moonbreaker is the new game from Unknown Worlds, who are the developers of Subnautica and the developers of Natural Selection 2. The lore of this game was done by one of my favorite authors, Brandon Sanderson. Ah! Oh! I've gotten the chance to play one hour of this game about a year ago. Maybe six months ago. Maybe time is an illusion, and I don't remember when I've done anything at all. <laughs> but this is tabletop miniature gaming in a digital space. That's the way I would describe it. Now, obviously games in development go through a ton of iteration, ton of changes. So... I am probably just gonna hit the play button and do stuff. What is this? Pulsars, Boostars, Merits, Blanks, Contracts. Oh. Oh. Do I get another one? This isn't doing anything at all. Sick. And what's this? This. How to play. All right, perfect. All right. Moonbreaker. Introduction. Goal of the game. I seek only justice. To win the game, you must simply defeat the enemy Hot captain. Dead and dead, huh? The captain is the most powerful unit in play, and each has a unique set of abilities. You start with yours in play. If it gets destroyed, game over. Camera controls. Use WASD to move the camera or hold the middle mouse button to pan around. All right, good. Cinder. It's used to power special abilities and deploy new units. Every turn, you gain one more cinder than the last. Great, mana. Cool, makes sense. Up to three unspent cinder will carry forward to the next turn automatically, so you can save for a big turn. Really? Moving units. Roll over? While special abilities cost Cinder, moving is free. Selecting a unit will show where it can move. Moving, attacking, and using abilities can be done by any unit in any order. All right, very hearthstone -esque. But pay special attention to the order of your actions. Blocking movement is a critical aspect of the game. <laughs> units can lower accuracy, prevent enemies from melee attacking, or trap other units. You can see where your opponent's units can move by hovering over them. Great, good, seems fine. Oh, it's going through melee and ranged everything. Attacks. I got it. Most I got it. units have a melee or ranged attack. Melee is shown with a yellow icon, and ranged is represented with a blue icon. The damage dealt is the number shown inside. Melee attacks are more likely to hit, but you must be touching an enemy unit. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of having yellow and blue indicate melee or ranged because like blue and red are like opposing characters. Touch units show a grouping line, but note that when a melee unit is attacked, it fights back if it can. Great, crack back. Ranged attacks are less likely to hit, but can be performed at any distance. With the ranged unit selected, hold oh, right click shit. on a target to see the percentage chance of hitting it. Some obstacles lower your chance to hit, and others block all attacks. Never mind, that actually Each looks unit fine. has a health value. If this is reduced to zero, the unit is destroyed. Remember, when your captain is destroyed, you lose the game. This is not the uh... unit abilities. Spend Cinder to use your unit's abilities. Oh, Here, fuck yeah. Captain Extillier is using a special ability to damage all nearby enemies. Some abilities deal damage, others buff your crew or affect your enemies. Stay guarded. Always. Each ability can be used Stay once guarded. per turn. Deployments. You can also spend Cinder to deploy new units from your bridge. The cost of deploying a unit is shown at the top of its tooltip. Click the unit, then choose where to place it. Okay. Note that deployed units cannot act until your next turn. Summoning sickness, great. You can get more units by spending Cinder to reinforce. Weekly. Ship assists. Along with units, you also have powerful abilities called assists, which are called down from your ship and take effect immediately. Assists are chosen from a random pool at the start of each match. A random they don't cost pool? Cinder, but they do have a cooldown. 
everything else. Moonbreaker is a rule-changing game. This means each unit will have their own unique ability and their own special way of interacting with the game. And because we keep adding new units, you'll need to keep learning. Make sure to hover over units to read their abilities. You can oh, also I'm not doing that. Keywords to see what they mean, as well as the status effects on a unit to see what it can do. I don't read in magic. I'm not going to read here. No obviously. game will ever be the same, so stay alert. I mean, it's actually trying to teach me to play a game. Oh, shit, yeah. Painting. All right. From the collect and paint screen, click a unit, then click the paint button. Here you'll see the default paint job. You can create a new paint job by clicking the plus icon or modify an existing one with the duplicate button. This is also how you set the current paint job you want this unit to use in this crew. Now let's start painting. Oh, oh. You can the camera by dragging with the mouse wheel, zoom with mouse wheel, and rotate with right mouse button. You can also use left mouse button for all these if you choose the mode first. Oh. Now, let's paint a base color for Maximus. Click paint and then a color. Now you can paint right on the model. Oh, they don't give you all let's the colors? Our brush Fuck size yeah. To make this easier. You can use this slider or use the bracket keys. Now we can quickly finish our base color. If you make a mistake, you can always undo. You oh, so eat your heart out, Warhammer 40k now painters. Now we can paint in the crevices of the model. Choose wash and then a dark color. That's a bit too dark, so let's lower the paint opacity. Now we can fill in the shadows, giving extra color to the more recessed areas. Now, let's use dry brush to make some highlights. This will paint just the surfaces. I have not seen this let's choose at a light all. Color. Lower the opacity again, and we can paint the armor. Notice how it's only painting the raised edges. Now, dirty up the boots with the airbrush. This will blend spray the new color on, blending with what's beneath it. Now, let's paint the face. We'll choose a skin color and draw it. If we're careful, we can paint the whole face like this. But there's an easier way. If you hold shift, it will constrain that brush stroke to the same piece of the model, making sure it doesn't bleed onto adjacent <gasps> Oh, fuck! Now we can paint the face easily without worrying about painting the collar also. What the fuck? There are a few more things you should know. Ah! Uh, you can mix colors by painting them in the color mixer. What? So blend like real paints. They will? Then you can select any color you've blended just like selecting one of the other colors. You can also select the color you've already painted by using the color picker. Okay. All right. Well. You could also use stipple to splatter on the model and place decals. I don't know what a decal is. I'm pretty sure they're not real. You can also create your own custom palettes for painting an entire roster. Really? Really? Finally, once you get the hang of the hotkeys, you can hide most of the UI through bliss mode. When you're Deckles. done, just hit the back button and the game will prompt you to save. Now you can see your unit has been updated in your crew view, <laughs> Holy ready to play. Shit. We hope oh. you love painting miniatures as much or maybe even more than the game. <laughs> you know that an artist recorded that line while giving a finger to the designer. Well, people might like painting just a little bit more. And that's true. Um, all right. All right, I, 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 I'm just gonna hit play. I'm gonna play the video game. Wait, there, there's a tutorial. All right, claim your reward. How do I play this tutorial? Is it perhaps in options? Oh, 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 there's a whole button that says tutorial right there. Game found, starting game. Let's. Oh, look at the tilt shift on the camera. This is your captain, Extilior. If you lose him, you're awful. Keep him alive at all costs. All costs? 
Well, it looks like we're going to be pulling our modem out of the wall soon enough. Left click Exterior to select him. Then move him into range of the turret. Finally, use his melee attack to strike the turret. Great. So here, here I'm wasdying. Oh, dude. Oh, shit, dude. Look, look at how, look at how it turns into a little, a little grabber. Oh, is this all single player? Or is there multiplayer? Tuesday. I think it's mostly multiplayer. Be brave. Be brave. All right. All right. So, oh, I see. I actually need a ZXCV to hit. Run an ally within range against Shield of Hope when rival is destroyed. Oh, that's a passive. Deal three damage to all units in range. Here's my melee attack. So let me hit and sort of justice. Looks like the same thing is listed here. So I see. So if I select a unit, its info is up here in the top, and its actions are down here in the bottom. So this is like a summary, and this is like an interactivity. All right, cool. So. Oh my god, dude. Bro. Bro. Boop. Oh my god. I am in control. I am in control. Then when you're done, use the end turn button. I'm hiding. Great job. Guys, you're looking at the best all time. All right, you want me to use my special, huh? Extilior has a special ability, Sword of Justice, which can damage multiple enemies at once. Look at the cargo crate in the back. It's so on brand. Oops. First move, Extilior, so he touches both turrets. Second use, Extilior, Sword of Justice. One use, Extilior, standard attack, finish off the remaining turret. Can I use Q and E to rotate? Ooh, okay. This this is... I, I am so appreciative of this. I can hold Q to tilt a little bit. And E to tilt a little bit. But I don't have full 360 camera angle views. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think that the fewer camera controls you give to a player, the better quality art you can make. Soft cover blocks movement and reduces accuracy. Hard cover blocks movement and sight. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Matt Mandoy says, who approved the name Extilior? Extilior is such a fucking over-the-top name. It loops back around, then it's okay again. All right. I'm going to move you. I forget nothing. This guy takes himself so seriously. All right, I'm gonna hit C. So what happens if I just tap it? You gave me no choice. Oh, I see, and because this is a cost, I can still melee. <laughs> Damn. All right. Voice lines are so nice and edgy. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, the animation. It like, I, I actually think that this is such a clean idea. You just kind of animate the fixed character instead of the actual, like, swinging and shit. I mean, that's awesome. You're playing Beyblade? Fuck yeah, man. You got it. Crankbait. This unit, Crankbait, <laughs> can pull in units to her position. Try using her grappling chain ability to pull the turret to her, then destroy it with Extilior. All right, yep. So, I am in control. I see. So if I, it it, it will let me do this, huh? This is my jam. I'm actually curious what happens if I just like run away.
it, oh, you, it just, it just lets you do it. Try using crankbaits pull. Please try using crankbaits pull. All right, so uh, I'm gonna move her back here. I'm gonna grappling chain for one cinder. Yoink her. Hey, you deserve a big hand. We must do this. Okay, so this this is there's a tactics style game that's a little old. It was eventually deprecated called um, Duelist, and it, this gives me some of the same vibes as that does. Like the whole idea of crackbacks, where I hit you, and if you are alive, you hit back for melee. Excellent. Crankbait can also pull friendly units. Move Crankbait towards the two turrets, then pull Exteliar turret. Oh. <laughs> so I want to go here to give enough room to Exteliar. I'm going to yoink. And then you are going to move over here so I can use Sword of Justice. Oh, shit. I hit my hero. Oh, three damage to all units. All is in caps lock, but I don't ever read things, okay? Great job. Great job. I could hide in the corner. This tutorial is so fucking good. Okay. It's time for Day 9 Talks Tutorialization, episode 2000. So, I um, I, I have a lot of conversation uh, and a lot of things to say about the difference between strategy and mechanics and the mental model and how that's in between the two and all this sort of stuff. But, like... There is something that is underdone in tutorials, which is show you what's fun. Make sure I understand what the fun is. So for instance, first thing I did is it showed me the mechanics of moving and attacking. And that is already pretty fun to walk up and hit something and take it out, nice. And then it showed me the spin attack to hit multiples. And then I got to hook something and then do spin attacks. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to punch the mic. So it's reinforcing through repetition, but it's showing me what's actually fun. Try targeting all three turrets to see how cover and your own unit's positions affect your shot. So I select. So if I hit ranged, negative 29% blocked. Can I shoot my own dudes? What's stillness do? Gains plus 75% accuracy until she moves or takes damage. So if I use some stillness, and I have three total. Wait, is this on this unit? Actions cannot be undone. Do all my units have cinder? Oh, no, no. I think that this is the cost of the unit. Crankbait costs three. She costs three, and her ability costs two, and I have infinite cinder, it looks like. So if I do stillness... Show them what you're made of. This is negative 29%. Stay guarded, always. So that's something that I did not understand. Uh, so I'm actually going to end my turn, because I want to see what this means. Oh, there's a fucking turret here. This mask really draws the eye. I don't think I understand what minus...
It's not showing you the chance to hit, it's showing you one of the modifiers. So, so if I if I do range like this, this is a 23%. Okay, so if I move this here. I scope with my will scope. So this is 100% chance to hit. Okay, I think I understand this as you always have a 100% chance to hit. And I am losing 28% accuracy because I'm firing through a unit, and then I'm losing an additional 35% accuracy because I'm firing through the soft cover, which means that I will get a total of, what's this, 63% negative accuracy, which is then a 34% chance to hit. So this should be 100%, right? Defense first. Be brave. This mask really Be brave. Try not to cry. Cry a lot. So you say hold right click on an enemy to show the percentage chance to hit. But yeah, right that didn't do anything. Yeah, that didn't that didn't do anything at all, table man. I, yeah, I, I guess maybe I have a setting disabled or something. It feels like I should be able to see the percent chance to hit. Popped up for a sec, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Spawn an enemy captain, angry jailbreak, as well as some sport turrets and a new friendly unit for you to experiment with. Use what you learned about your units and their abilities to defeat the enemy. Remember, you don't just need to kill all the enemy units. Just kill every captain. Oh, okay. Na I now I have will. more UI. Huh. Does anyone does anyone know? Anyone know the buttons? Someone else quickly open this up. Okay, what's this guy? This is Tipu. Whenever Tipu hits, it permanently gains plus one attack and plus one health. Really? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and move over to here and melee this. So now this is a 4-8. Defense first. Sick. I think we're streaming this game tomorrow, like all day. I forget nothing. So I'm gonna move over here, and I'm gonna do Sword of Justice. You are a distraction. Oh, the crackback is kind of a lot. Really draws the eye. I don't really want to melee this. So I'm just gonna end the turn. So I guess green is. Do you have movement left? Red is, is do you jam. have an attack left? Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Touching rivals are immobilized? Oh, sick. Be brave. Sword of Justice. You should now understand the very basis of Moonbreaker, but this is just the beginning. You're ready. Move on and try some of your hand in some real matches. Good luck. Win match versus AI? Fuck yeah. Alright, versus AI. Alright, so here, here looks like my deck. Why do you think it organizes them like this? I 
I mean, that's pretty sick. So, what is this? On Exterior's Awakening. What are, what are these things? All right, I literally don't understand what this is. That's fine. Early access, early access. Say done. Can I make a new? Earn season track and you need a master experience for each match. So, season track, what is this? When raiders descend on the Trillic Village Tower, Ruby's escaped his original programming. Levels to unlock Deathbot exterior. All right, so I mean, it's all right. It's just a progression thing, and I assume that as I play, I'm going to unlock more pieces. We're going to find out. Roxy Robofox with the 20 gifties. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Moonbreaker launch day. It's all supernatural. Looking good. Let's party. Oh my god. So these are the cooldowns, huh? Let's reinforce. Move the next unit from the reserve to the bridge. I don't know what these words mean. So I'm going to pick this one because I want to learn what these words mean. Hey, what up, Borg leader? Happy... 136 month anniversary. Okay, so I'm playing versus the AI, yeah. Okay, so there there's yet more UI things. So this is at a rent. Okay. Okay, so here here is my understanding of how I'm learning the game. And I'll be honest, I want an additional tutorial after that. I want a, 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 an additional tutorial after the first one. So the first tutorial was showing me some of the in-game mechanics and how the in-game mechanics function, moving things around, summoning dudes, that sort of thing. Um, then there is a, a completely separate question, which you know, any card gamer knows about, which is what is the manner by which I take cards from my hand and I put them onto the battlefield? So the way that Duelist worked, which was like a card game tactics game, is you just drew cards and they had mana costs and they'd... You'd cast them onto the field. But this appears to have some sort of other mechanic with some sort of bridge, some sort of crew. Like, here's the reserve, available crew that can still be reinforced, bridge crew, add a random crew to the bridge. Okay. So here's how I think this works. I think that at the bottom, this is my mana right here. And this is my bonus cinder. And I think that this blue dot here, ah, let me scoot myself somewhere. There we go. Where, where can I even go here, man? Uh, uh, I guess, how big am I normally? Yeah, I mean, that's, I guess something like this is okay. All right, you'll never know that I can end the turn, and I'll occasionally point to my bonuses. Okay, so I understand that this pip here is what is going to happen next turn. Okay, so I think that in my bridge, I'm going to deploy Maximus Rapid Fire, which I assume is... Ranging his attacks, it fights twice? Woo, I had no idea. Okay. Mm 
So let's actually find out what we're up against. Zax Jakar. Ranged. All right. Uh, push target when Zax hits. Create a sleeper mine. It takes one turn to arm. Auto. Arming. Is that three health? Two units in area together. All right. Put this guy here. So this costs three, this costs four. So I'm just going to end the turn. Jesus. Holy shit. Okay, so one of my abilities... I have an ability now. Okay, so this... this If, if I understand this, this is reinforce. So... Okay, I think I understand. So, my bridge is like my hand. I can cast things from my hand. Every time there's a new turn, I don't just draw a new card to dump out. I actually have to spend, it looks like spend three mana in order to draw a new card into my hand. Or I can use this reinforce ability. So now I have a new creature that's been added here. Great. Got it. And it's your service. All right, sweetie. All right, so you're right. I don't need WASD. I can just I can just do all mouse only. So let's go ahead and so I can't do anything this turn, but that's fine because I can stock up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back this way, get a little bit of cover, and a range attack this twice. Oh. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to move over this way. Oh, I still am actually not quite close enough. Shit. So my Sword of Justice will hit this, but my melee is just not quite in range. Oh, interesting. Shield of Hope reduce the next damage to unit by one. I'm actually going to cast this on myself Use since I can't actually wisely. hit stuff. And then I'll have four mana next turn because I get the three from the turn plus the reserve. Got it. Okay, I already have an opinion. I have played a big variety of card slash tactics games like this, where you're trying to manage small resources. Uh, Duelist was one, Shardbound was another one. That game shut down, but that game was awesome. And one of the um, sort of trade-offs that exists is that on any given turn, you want your player to have a couple of things that they're weighing against. Hearthstone is a card game that in their early design, they found that there was no decision most of the time. On turn three, you played your three mana thing. On turn four, you played the four mana thing. So they introduced the idea of hero powers. Every turn you can spend two mana to do something every turn, like summon a one one if you're a paladin or deal one damage if you're a mage. And then this caused players to go, well, on turn four, do I want to play the four mana card or do I want to hero power for two and then summon a two mana creature? There's actually a choice now. So in, in these kinds of tactics games where you're actually considering positioning, the world space here is really, really rich. Like Movement speeds and where things are positioned and the properties of units, you want that to be rich. This captain has shield of hope and ability, has sword of justice and ability, and a melee attack and a move. There's a lot of things that this thing can do. And so I can imagine, like very plainly, I can imagine that if every turn you were getting new units, like your bridge grew by one every turn, and you have all these units here, there's almost too many new things entering in and the amount of decision space explodes. 
One way to solve that is to make your units more boring. Oh, I forgot my lucky cravat. So you're thinking a lot about which one you want to summon, and then you're drawing one every turn. But then all of a sudden you're spending more time drawing and putting cards onto the field, instead of doing interesting things with the dudes on the field already. So I actually think that this idea of your bridge, here is what you have, and you're trying to reinforce from your reserve, I think this is really interesting. I think I maybe shot. A moment to take all this in. Yeah, fuck yeah. Whoa. Okay, what was Disruptor Beam? Did this guy cast this? So I think Disruptor Beam was one of these style abilities. Okay. I forget nothing. I have a mind like a steel trap, bro. So Tipu is the one that whenever it deploys, it deals... Permanently gains one attack and one health. So I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do it in this order. I'm like going to first range boss. attack this, because it's right next to me. Ooh, shit, there's crits in this game? Fuck yeah. And then I'm actually going to move back to hard cover over here. Then I'm going to summon Tipu also on the other side of hardcover. I kind of wish I could see a movement radius on this, but maybe that's just too much. So I'm going to move over to here. So now that it's here, does it... Okay, what do we think this means? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. I think... I think if I'm understanding this right, the Sleeper Mine is played. In this many turns, it arms. So this one has Summoning Sickness. This one... I should be able to attack, should I not? No valid targets. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not close enough. Well, in case you didn't know, in tabletop wargaming, often you have what's known as a fucking measuring tape. All right, so uh, we have no cinder. We can heal something, but we don't have any valid targets. So let's go ahead and end the turn. I don't know if there's a way to see my opponent. Oh, here's my opponent's resources. Up here, here's here's them, here's me. That's very cute. Make friends. These paradoxes give pause. I just I can't stress this enough. I actually really like stowaway, so I can hit this. Toxoid. Snarling. So, okay, so this mine is blocking movement. So if oh, I... I forgot my lucky cravat. If I scoot out here and then do range damage to this, this should open the path to allow my absolute gamer an opportunity to be up here. And I'm going to... Sword of Justice? Why not? not harm them. I don't think I can cast anything from here now. Yeah, that's fine. First. Holy is shit, not fuck an yeah. Option. So you only get one, one option of where to move. Right here. No, I can move, shoot, and then move back. Is that right? Holy cow. Alright, I'm ending the turn. Bring another mine. Move after shooting because the ability. Whenever Maximus damages a target, refresh its move. It says it right there. There it is. Charge nano shield. 
Oh, I can see there. Gain's invulnerable for a turn. Oh, shit. Alright, so... This, Tipu, whenever it attacks, permanently gains plus one attack, plus one health. Alright, so I'm absolutely going to melee the mine. And I'm going to move with cover onto this side. I've got plans soon. So, what's in my bridge? Crankbait? Oh, shit, yeah. I don't know if I want to do any crank baiting right now. I don't think there's any value in that. And I'm actually curious. I'm actually really curious. Hi, Ooh, shit, that's not the button I wanted to press. All right, I'll answer that question next turn. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. All right, out we go. So we're going to move this way. So I can move here. I can range attack this. And then I can retreat again. That feels really good. My question was... Where where am I allowed to summon? Is it within a range of my captain? It is. It's within range of my captain. So that means if I do like this, summon this guy here, I can't do any of these abilities because it has summoning sickness. So this is actually a really weak position for this, but that's fine. All right, yep. Ow. Oh, is this an airborne guy? When you call, I come. Oh, this is some chaos right here. So how much health? This is 13 health, so this deals one, this deals four. Six health remaining. Touching rivals are immobilized, so I can't retreat out of this one. And let's read what this one does. Torian, Guardian. What's Intercept mean? Oh, Intercept is the name of this thing. Anytime something has... Okay, so I'm understanding the UI. If it is yellow, it is a keyword. So Rapid Fire is a keyword. That means whenever this attacks, it fights twice. If it is a white word, it is not a keyword. It's just the name of the ability that's listed right below it. Got it. And so what does this fucker do? And the nearest ally in range and line of sight are 40% harder to hit. Be brave. Be brave. It certainly hits a mobilized target unit for a turn. Stores one health at the end of its turn. Poison means of damaging your crew. Oh, shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna summon this marksman to this backside here. Please don't make me mingle. And I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to first like my battle mask. move my ranged unit out here. Like quite a ways out. I'm going to range attack this one. Which then allows me to retreat this one. At which point my Tipu will be able to melee this, killing it before it can crack back, boosting the health by 1-1. One, one. And then I think I'm gonna move like right. I'm gonna try this. If I grappling chain this, Then what I can do is I can sort of justice to hit both of these. That feels pretty sick. And I think do I I can't kill this with melee. I think I'm maybe I'm better served just. Oh, oh yeah. Let me move you. Scoot myself right in between. So then this can't even cross that line. I missed. I don't believe it. Reinforce again. Not to lob. Deals the damage to all units in an area. Oh shit, yeah. Oh yeah, this because this makes it 40% harder to hit. My skin. Green this guy can blow up his own mines.
chase is easy. Holy so shit. Burn so little time. Watch them scramble. So I can heal something that has five or less health. This only has eight health left. So if I were trying to shoot this. And this is range and in line of sight. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move close enough to both of these that I can sort of justice to destroy this one. Oh shit, I fucking killed my own guy. Ah! <laughs> ah, shit! Okay. But that's okay, because I'm going to win. Stillness, range attack, shoot that. Minus 15% because of this. Alright, so... Move over to here. Range, shoot this fucker. Oh my god. Well, you know. I apologize to Crankbait for slicing you in twain, but it was worth it. We've won the video game. Progress join. I don't know what unit mastery actually means. If these are just progression, terrific, amazing, fantastic. Um, okay, I'm 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 sort of I'm sort of on the fence about something. Here's something that I am absolutely not on the fence about. If it was like your toxoid deals one damage. Unless you pay us five dollars, then your toxoid deals two damage. I don't, I, I, I don't like that. But um, I used to not be as much a fan of this, but I kind of like the feeling of a unit starting small. Like imagine that your hero had one ability, and then if you played with Extilior enough to level it up, it now has two abilities. So like, I used to not like this because I'm like, dude, just give me the whole unit at the start. But the reason I like the leveling up is from a newbie perspective, when I start off, I'm not overwhelmed. And then what I'm unlocking is the full complexity. What I'm not unlocking is the full power. Technically, it is more powerful if you have more options to it, obviously, but um, I'm really curious what this means or if this is just experiential. Like, dude, I play with Toxoid so much. So collect and paint, what does this mean? Unowned units. All right, so we hire for whatever this is. So I assume this is where a video might be. Man, it's used to hire unowned units and upgrade unit rarity. Rosters. So a roster, here's how I make a new roster. Ah, I see. So here's like my armory. So here's everything that I own. So, so she's a 2-6. This is common. All right, so there's some lore. Great. I can go read the lore later. I don't really know what this rarity improvement means. Oh, I see. So these are the animations. Okay, 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 okay. So how do I get merits? See, instead of duplicates and boosters. Okay, so... Give me this. So I, I, I think it's giving me currency that's just not showing up anywhere. Rarity just gives it a cosmetic aura. Nice. Captain Astra. Claim. Yeah, look, it's me. And there's all of you up there. 
Congratulations. All right, Zach's, Zach's the car. Cargo run contract. Give me this. Yeah. Blasters. 23% off. I don't actually think that I'm able to get any of these things right now. Whoa! That was so fucking close. That was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, that that had that had my address on it. Oh my god, that is fucking terrifying. So I want to see something. All right. All right. So, cancel transaction. Oh my god. Did you see me? I'm amazing. So, um. It looks like this is five, 10, and $25. Here's the three captains, boosters. So I want 10 boosters. I wonder why I can't see any of my things. So I'm, I'm gonna just do this. I'm like so ready to just do this again. Do you have streamer mode enabled? I do. All right, open boosters. Where are my boosters? Th th this UI is absolutely confusing to me. Let me actually see something, let me... Let me go back to options, because, like, like streamer mode, the big thing that I care about with streamer mode is not having my identity, not doxing myself. Has user ID, currency, and passwords. Ah. All right, hold on, let me, let me, let me just do this for a quick second. You see, see, this is what's weird to me, is that it's showing these things as question marks, so it looks like I have 12 boosters. Yeah, see, like, th th this UI right now is completely confusing to me, because I guess what it's telling me is that I'm opening a booster, and this is the opening. Maynard! What a treat to see you, man! How are you, Lee? Mr. Mandelov. All right, so it looks like I am allowed to open duplicate units. I'm generally a big fan of duplicate protection. Depends on how many merits things cost. Someone says I have to get up in five hours, so obviously I can only watch the entire stream and be dead tired tomorrow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you should go to bed, Sawman. I mean, professionally speaking, I think that you should never stop watching. Amplifier bit hole. So if I'm if I'm understanding things I get three things in a pack. Okay, so let me actually go back here cuz I I have 30 merits cuz I got duplicates. So then if I go to my um let me go back collect and paint unowned units. Is this a is this a common gamer? Are they all 50? I mean, I'm seeing them all be 50. All right, so let's go to the... 
Is the 50 under your camera? Oh, it is. Yeah. Fifty. <laughs> All right. So if I go to and I go to store and boosters, open boosters. Thirty is my current. I mean, I, I have some mixed feelings about loot boxy things. Broadly speaking, one of the things that I like about, hey, here's some random tools for you to have, is it's a really great way to cause some problem solving to happen and a unique, interesting experience that feels fun. Um, I know of card games that are just like, here you, you pay once and you have all the cards and then people just go out and net deck <laughs> and then that's it. And there's some freshness and fun of progression of, hey, I'm randomly getting ways to improve slowly stepping out my content. I'm gonna open up all of these because I'm curious the degree to which... What is this? Oh. And also, if, if, if it's a lot of cosmetics, I'm generally fine with that. The thing that... Um, the story that I always tell that hurt me a great deal is when I really wanted the legendary unit um, Karen Bloodhoof in Hearthstone. And they didn't have duplicate protection for rares and legendaries. Duplicate protection means you cannot open the same rare. Um, and I spent $50, opened only duplicates, dusted everything I opened and was able to get just Karen. And I was, I, I was like, ugh. Symphony says, from listening to dev interviews, I got the impression the current implementation of unit costing is more or less intended to be a progression system rather than like a money sink. Yeah, I mean, like, uh-oh, oh no, he's using MS Paint, oh god. Like, here's the thing. Let, let, let's imagine we have a huge grid of different cards, okay? Imagine these are all laid out. And... One of the things that is kind of fun about battle passes, but to me is kind of boring, is the linearity. I like the feeling of, hey, I open a pack, bam, bam, bam. I have these three, and then I open another pack, bam, bam, bam. And if, like, this is the feeling, after you've opened a couple packs, that, hey, here's my collection. And then as you keep opening packs, I'm getting more and more until eventually I have opened them three at a time and filled everything. But he here's what I really freaking hate. Let me just get rid of all these. Which is when you go open, 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 and then, hey, let's open another pack. And I open this and this, and then I get like a duplicate. And then I open the next pack and I get this one, and then I get duplicate and duplicate. And then I open the next one and I get duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. You know, and it's this, like, process of trying to overcome the RNG just to get, and I keep opening things, and I'm getting more copies of the same shit. And all I actually really wanted was, was this one here. This is what I really, 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 really hate. Hey, Noah says, when you have five different currencies, even if it's all just cosmetic, it still feels like a game that is trying to confuse anomics you into laying down your entire wallet. So I, I, I try to be as agnostic as possible whenever I see a new currency system. I have played mobile games where I download it, I open it up, I look at how the monetization works, I play the game for 10 minutes, and I go, Jesus, this is not a game. This is something that's just trying to extract my money by annoying me. 
there are other games that I've played that don't have any microtransactions. You just have, you just pay 20 bucks, you have the game. And then there's in-game currencies that allow you to progress. And it's, it allows you choice over how your progression works. So I opened like 13 packs. So I'm curious, what are my units? Here's the ones I own after, because when I when I opened the game, I had 10 packs, and then I got three more, and this is all that I don't own. So like, I can hire this for 50. So now I just like have everything, almost. All right, and so th this is, pulsars are your main currency that lets you open packs. Merits you get from, oh, whatever, dude. So let's see. So I can use my play currency to buy things or I can use my money currency to buy things. The organization of this is a little weird. So this is like play to buy, or play to earn, pay to earn, and you use it to make these fucking things, which unlock the content, and this lets you do some duplicate protection. So I feel like these two should be grouped together, because this is the main thing you care about getting, I think. Here's boosters. All stars. All right. Uh, so how do I how do I paint a guy? Dude, yo. So if I hit, is it control Z still? I mean, that's, dude. I mean, this, dude. I mean, this is pretty easy to do, man. Draw a penis, absolutely. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I save this? Do I just hit back? Oh my god, yeah. Alright, great. So let's go ahead and make a new roster. So the captain... What do you need? Yeah, you know what? It's gonna be Astra. Wait, 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 save. What happened to my art? Why can't I use this? Does every single inch need to be covered? All right, so let me, so uh, maybe if I name it, huh? All 
all right, I'm I'm owning at making this beautiful. That's pretty nice, you know? Let's maybe some yellow over here. And then there was the, uh, let me see if this works again. This is really important to me. Okay. Uh, save. Is this, is this it? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like someone's playing paintball and Goldeneye. All right, let's make rosters. <laughs> let's make a new roster. Oh, yeah, this one's going to have Astra. And they're going to have this guy. And then we're going to have... Yep, yeah, you know, I'm just going to start dragging some guys in here because I don't really care terrifically much. Um, I, I mean, I'm happy to just futz around. Where, where's, uh, what's his name? Tipu? Hop on in, baby. Where's my Ursic Scattervine? This guy looks sweet. Let's get this guy in there. Beatrice. Uh, where's, where's all my plant boys? Chuck and Co. All right, sweet. Furia. I can't wait to play my own guy. I mean, this is... I'm, like, so excited about this. Oh, wait, we need to rename this. Edit, excuse me. Edit, new roster. Fantastic roster by Day9. Excellent, saving it. GB Pabloa says, do not go into a multiplayer match with that paint job. There is a report paint job system. All right, let's do one against the AI then. I'm really excited about this paint job. I don't want to get banned because I want to stream this game tomorrow. Not a simulation, gang. Smells like adventure. And Gorg's team. <laughs> oh man, I didn't get my okay, I have to do this assist that has stowaway. I have to do stowaway because how else am I going to reinforce and get my beautifully painted illustration? All right, so what does one this win, one do? One bug. Dude, the tilt shift is so good. All right, so boost permanently reduce the cost of a random crew on bridge by two. Would I not do this every single time? What do you think this 10 means? Because this means that there is a range of two. This means that there is a may, or me, there, this means there's range damage equal to two. This means that there is ranged or melee damage equal to one. So I guess this means that, that it has no attack at all. I see. Mm -hmm. Remove stun from a unit into the breach. I got a child's budget. No valid targets. Oh, I'm fucking awful. All right, here we go. Mine's had a similar indication. Yeah, I couldn't understand because I thought that the three was applying directly to that. Oh, dude, I'm so sick. Boost it. And we get... Hell yeah! <laughs> Fucking... Oh, boost that morale, baby. I can cast something. Oh, man, this is down to five. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Range attack you. Yeah, fuck you. I'm getting out of here. Oh, this is airborne. Icy. Moves through obstacles, but because it's a frog, it's kind of frogging through. Spy reinforce when Astra destroys a crew. Okay, reinforce when Astra. Oh shit, dude! Astra is the make units cheat. <gasps> dude, Astra. This is my hero. I'm gonna be summoning so many fucking nerds. End turn. Yeah, hop to me. 
What's this one do? Escape hatch? Randomly deploy the most expensive unit for free. It takes two damage. And it does it randomly, huh? Well, fuck yeah, let's do that. What a relief! And this thing... This thing can't... It can't move. Uh, uh, wait, so I can actually remove stun from this? Oh shit, we're boosting some morale here. Come on, it's fun. All right, we have a defense drone. No, wait, no, dude, I'm getting cranked, bait out. All right, here we go. I just want to see her jump. Got it. Those are all units in area. Damn. Uh oh, this is fucking so funny to me. Yeah, into the breach, remove summoning sickness. Yeah, because your units don't enter with a specific summoning sickness name. The professionals here. Also me. Switch it up. In rapid fire and slow for two turns. Okay, so what is this? Holy shit, look at this fucking thing. So wait, wait, if I if I yoink. Okay, so if I move. Is this hardcover? Fuck. Alright, so I'm gonna move you over to here. Hey, you deserve a big hand. Nice! Make him proud. What a relief. Stowaway incoming. Ribbit. Okay, range attack. Losing 21% chance. Oh, dude, look at the huge icon above their head that shows this. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. I just understand now what the numbers mean. So, ranged units, by default, don't have 100% chance to hit. It means that you are, generally speaking, you have a diminishing accuracy the farther away something is. In addition, I am getting a 21% reduction as a result of firing through a guy. So, I think 57% is the sum of the distance penalty and the obstacle penalty. What? How does anything bad ever happen to me? I don't understand. Oh, that's 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 just cruel. Row. Don't. Ninety-eight percent chance. Oh my god! What are you licking me for, man? The villain has eight. <laughs> I'm dandy. All right, hold on. Boost morale. Use it every turn, no matter what. Aegis dome defense? Dude, fuck yeah. Doming it up. Got my defenses. You will never be able to fuck with me. So if it's stunned, it can't be ordered and it can't fight, but it has this passive of energy field, which is great. Okay. Who else is in the bridge? Arya. Beatriz. I don't know, man. This is my jam! Uh. Fuck you. X. You hit me, I'll hit you. Oh yeah, we need we need Arya coming out here. All right. Way in the back. 
look at all the people. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're back. All right, that's my turn. Look at my awesome, look at my awesome paint job. I'll be honest, I, I do kind of like the bright primary colors. Dude, this, this reduces ally damage in range. Yeah, so it's. This weighs more than me. Smells like breakfast. Switch. Let's see if we still got it. All right, so I'm reinforcing for free for sure. I need to randomly the deploy the most expensive unit here. Wait, actually, no. Look, literally. Ah, how delightful. All right, randomly deploy something. Never fear. Soon my plans come to fruition. Throw a unit and deal one damage to it. Huh. Use damage by one man. Armor is fucking sick. And I'm just gonna use this into the breach on this guy, because I think it would be cool. Dude, I can't go anywhere here. So wait, if I move this. So can I toss this unit? <laughs> Oh, dude, hell yeah. All right, I guess I'll range lick this. Anyone know what happened? Was that early access? AI rage quit? Hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna go to collect and paint. I actually have an idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna paint this. Day nine scheme. All right, so what, I, what I'm gonna do is I, I actually really like th these bright splashes of color. I find this really nice. No, I think, I think, okay, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do Discard, yeah, new scheme. Uh, splashy, splashy colors. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's um, paint, and I'm I'm just gonna like do big swaths of color around here, like big, just primary. Now let's get some blue down there. I, th this is just so colorful. All right. All right. All right, I'm gonna get a little more blue here. Great. So, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, primary, primary uh, splashes. I'm gonna call primary splashes. I would not think that I would be into this, but like, I really like these bright colors. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to look for sort cinder cost. These are. Here's the captains. So this is one. So these are the really pricey ones over here. All right. So this is six. All right. Guess who's painting? It's day nine. Dude, th this, my guys are going to look sweet. This is, this is actually going to look nice. Some of you are like, what are you talking about? You have no idea how quick and flavorful this is. All right. Primary splashes.
Dude, look at my guys. I'm only going to get the most expensive ones. Florio Lancer. Oh, please. Deal three damage to all units in an area. Slow. Decrease movement. All right. You're getting painted. With a new one, we're going to do some primary splashes again. Dude, I'm loving this painting. I mean, I, I, I cannot tell a lie. This might have my friend's three-year-old's paint. Do your friend's three-year-old fucking rules. Yes. All right, primary splashes. Save. Excellent. Dude, I mean, not going to lie. That's pretty cool. Not going to lie. All right, so how many how many nerds are in a thing? Ten? All right, so we're going to do this as fast as we can. Let's see if we can high APM this. Primary splashes. I'm going to control A, control C this, so that way we can do this faster. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. I think I'll get the yellow here, and let's do blue on top for this guy, because we haven't done that before. Uh-oh, we deleted too much red. Devastating. Devastating. All right, so we need to make sure that these spines... Yeah, I know how I said I was going to do as fast as possible. Well, can't tell a lie. This is literally the best UI for painting shit ever. All right, and saved. Yes. All right, good. So we got that guy. We're going to go only the most expensive things. New. This is unbelievable. I mean, look at this. This is insane. I'm getting better at this. Would you consider a hot, hot purple? Uh, in a future one. Right now, I'm just hitting the, the primaries, man. Paint. New primary splashes. Dude, look how look how fast I can do this. Dude, you know there's going to be people that spend all their time in here. Like there's so much fidelity. Like even me being a goofus One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do seven, eight, nine, and ten. You know what? Because I know that you gamers want to see some gameplay. We're going to get through this one, and then we're going to go straight into the game. And we're not going to play a single one that isn't painted like this. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. This is the game. All right. No, that's fine. If you want to see this, I'll give it to you. We have seven done. Let's go to eight. Only the price you want. Oh, this guy's so sick. I mean, these are just incredible. Sham2 says, LOL, they have all the mini painter words up there. Dry brush. Dude, dude, Sham2, I found your favorite game. Do you like how I've been painting? Do you like what I've done with the place? Where's glazing? Dude, I don't need glazing. All I need is bright primary colors, man. All right, here we go. And watch this. So what I do is I coat this with some green, yeah? Then I do over here and I do some yellow. And then I'm thinking some blue on the booty, like the back of the head. And then this side, red all the way. A little red there. I think it'd be nice. Yeah, let's get that real deep. All right, that's good. 
All right. And uh, is there another turret-like unit? Slow charge. Oh, shit. I'm paying this guy. All right. This this will make it really easy to select my, my squad. There. All right. So we're we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. So here we go. We're gonna. This music is incredible. All right. Oh, and of course we need to do Astra. I can't believe how quickly you can do this. Like I know I'm not doing a great job on these paint jobs. I know I'm not gonna win a an arting award from the arts. But I mean, like, the fact that I can open this up and, like, paint 12 things really quickly. I mean, that's... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's so fun. Okay. Okay. Rosters. New roster. Roster name. Hot paint, baby. Oh, wait. I can edit the flag? What? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. All right. I don't know why it's sorting like this. Th th this is quite clunky, this interface. Dude, how sweet does my army look? Save! Back! Play versus player oh, with hot paint. It's incredible. It's incredible. Starting game. Oh, I need to get water. I forgot I'm an organism. This is so fun. <clears throat> and serious. I will not stop hunting. I'll protect you. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between any of these fucking things. All right, this is... Match starts in 30 seconds. That's enough time to get water. Excuse me, sugar. Okay. All right, sure. Look out. Oh. Excuse me. Thank you. The match has begun. All right. Oh, my God. Oh shit, it is my turn. All right. Come on, it's fun. All right, I'm running away. Okay, okay. That is wise. What? This guy can plink me every turn. It's a turd. Where's my... Okay, is the defense drone? What does this do? Okay, so... Let me... Evil doers will lose. Is this hard cover? Alright, I'm going back to hard cover. Coward. Uh, and turn. This guy's just gonna plink my hero every turn. It's busted. 
That design's pretty sick. Dude, this game is pretty sick. I'm not gonna tell a lie. <laughs> this comes from so far up in the air. Alright. Stop! Stop plinking me! Alright, so what I really want to get down is this defense drone. Uh, so let's They're see here. In my bridge... Healing Bloom restore two health to allies in range every turn. This is soft cover. So I'm actually going to uh, summon this. Actually, I think I need to boost morale every her. turn. I think I need to do this every freaking turn. So what we're going to do Perfect is... Is this range? 30%? That's fine. That's fine. 30%. More than enough. A glowing hit. Yeah, I'm fucking better than any of you ever expected. This guy's ranged, huh? All right, I'm I'm a turtler, baby. Tur turtle town. All right, I I have seven cinder next turn. I'm fucking sick. Dude, this plank is so annoying. What is this other one? Oh, I don't I don't get to know yet. What a turd. What a turd. I'm gonna turtle so hard in this game, man. It's gonna be sick. Dude, Shamtu, Shamtu, Shamtu. Have have you have you seen this game? Have you checked it out? And dude, I got the chance to watch group C and D. They're ooh, those games are so good. Ooh. So in here. What is this guy? Snareling? When Snareling hits a mobilized target for a turn? I am warning I am warning All right, so I reinforce no matter what. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost morale no matter what. Every turn, make everything cheaper. This is Moani, Moani Thicket. Poison and slow with 10 health. So I have eight... No, I have six on this specific turn. So I'm actually going to put the thicket, like, right in here. This guy's fucking melee? Jesus. Oh, both ends are pointy. I'm actually going to do a quick jump over here. Then I can move this turret over here. Now, where do I want this? Do I want defense drone and the scatter vine? I think the thicket's gonna be good. This is poison, non. Uh, after damaging a crew, reduced to one health. Fuck yeah, dude. They're counting on us! What? To put the scatter vine back here. All right, see opponent's turn. I don't even care. Don't even give a damn. Scatter vine's clone itself, dude. Holy shit! I got orbital struck. Fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have made it invulnerable that turn. I forget nothing. I forget nothing. All right, I, I, this is the, the strategy so far has been terrible. I go with purpose. Oh, this guy is. Okay. See, I think that the scatter vine is one that I actually needed to protect. Because a strategy of just having scatter vines clone, scatter vines clone, scatter vines would have been sick. Many courses of action. I'm definitely going to be building a scatter vines deck, like 100%. Holy shit, I am fucking up so bad. It probably would have helped to read what any of my units do before going into this game. Alright, 
so... I should have done this shit way fucking earlier here, huh? Post okay. morale. What does this guy do? Deal too much all units in an area? Fucking hell. Could we throw the cinder at them? So if I move, dude, I am like getting absolutely murdered. This unit. Anyone know what's happening here? Why I can't move this? I figured it out. It's instability. All right, I'm playing again. Hot paint, let's go versus player. Hot paint, here we go. Early access. Oh, I'm playing this shit tomorrow, man. You know they're gonna pull all-nighters, so I specifically have a good stream tomorrow. Smells like adventure. It Smells like adventure, ah. Uh. Sorry, one sec. I gotta open this thing up on this screen. Everything's working fine. I've just clicked outside of the thing. Why is this? Sorry, I'm having my encoder give me weird messages. And we're good? Hey, look at that. I always pick stowaway. Your turn. They're counting on us. All right, we're up against Zach, Zach, Jack, Zach's Jakar. All right, push target when Zach's Jakar hits. Create a sleeper mine. Takes one turn to arm, move units in the area together. This guy is a ranged gamer. All right, so like I'm like I'm like an absolute turtler, right? Who, who's in the bridge? All right, Torian Guardian is a protector. So here's here's going to be my strategy. My strategy is to turtle like fucking hell. Maybe I should actually move a little bit farther forward. Yeah, and then I can have more area that I'm covering with my... I think I want to be over here. Look, literally. They'll hate this. The end of turn, store one health to your captain for each unspent cinder. Okay, this one is not good for my thing. Feel more motivated? All right, we're lowering some costs, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move over this way, and I think this is where I want my, my little area to be. Should have been moving there earlier, but we're gonna get infinite viney babies. Why I always pick still away? Because we don't need to read it. Well, I needed to pay 10 things as fast as possible, so I chose the most expensive ones and one that looked like a plant. I am going to build the absolute so sickest cool. control deck. Because here's my basic strategy. We delay the game. Wow, this guy's a 4-6. Holy shit, that is awesome. Using the gravity to boost it closer. What is this? Units in area lose 40% accuracy for a turn. Fast is increased movement range. Who's in the bridge? None of these fucking guys attack. So this actually makes me want to move back this way. See, his boost morale is like an awesome one for like every single turn. So this is a melee guy. Plus two attack and fast when you have no sender. Okay, so if I... All right, well, first of all, can we do it? Of course we can. I'm the fucking best player that's ever lived. All right, I'm gonna return back to the hard cover. Give me another minute. 
No, I, I recognize how stupid I look. Don't don't worry, video game. We're gonna get a deploy next turn. We're gonna get the thicket. I probably should have blocked this from getting to. So this is for my next turn. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 You're gonna get to know the opponent's assist thingies till they use it. I mean, that's pretty cute. That is pretty cute. Can this heal itself? Healing Bloom. Think fast. Sleeper. So defensive. <laughs> These cones coming out of the air are fucking so funny to me. Forget about me? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stow away no matter what we're gonna reinforce every fucking time. Jealous. So oh Moani Thicket would have been really great to have. So let's see here. Can I do some? Oh, this fucks with my shit too? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let me I, I'm always gonna do boost morale, right? Every time. This, I don't think, can move through here, but maybe if I scoot this back a little bit, it could. So I'm gonna block this puppy here. When you call, I come. I think this guy can fit through there. I think this is... I'm gonna scoot over just to be able to block it, and then I'm gonna... Smack this guy. Gotcha. And then, now that it's moved back, I got this. everyone has shittier accuracy. And in the bridge, but not a mystic. Why not? Alright, fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm ending my turn. Oh, it's... Oh, that range is way smaller than I thought. Oh shit, this is gonna displace my things. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna make a rainbow turtle deck. You have no idea. Nice miss, nerd. Thought you needed a breather. <laughs> yeah, talk shit alongside me, units. Alright. Alright. Okay. Florio, my hot man. Okay. I'll make him proud. I'll make him proud. So proud. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to boost morale because I'll, I'll be able to do something no matter what. So this has eight health, so I'm gonna go ahead and just block like this. Max are so in. Alright, so your heart beating fast too. So first I'm gonna have this range attack on this one. Wait. Ooh, crits are good. And now I'm going to melee this since it can't crack back. So this... This has a bombard. Oh, this... This healing is fucking way too... Way too shitty. So I think I want to move like this. And then this I want to move like... That. So I kind of have this weird little obnoxious cluster here. So let's go ahead and end the turn. These rays fight yeah, my captain is gonna take some damage, dude. Yeah. yeah. Disruptor Beam, I think, is actually very bad for our strategy, where we try to want to have, like, really deliberate positioning. Please don't make me mingle. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we've all been there. Gotcha. All 
Alright. I mean, maybe our strategy is not the best. I'm gonna have seven next turn. I can reduce this thing's cost right away. What's the hurry? Shit, that mine is fucking like right there. So, okay, let's see here. So, how do we want to do this? Overcompensating? They're counting on us. Oh. I think it's not hitting this guy. All right. Oh, I did miss that one, but that's fun. Your heart beating fast too. Uh, the bridge. We have the thicket, and I think I actually do want that one's health reduced. Defense, Our cost defense. reduced. Excuse me, dude. I just literally don't deal enough damage. Look, this literally. is this is so funny. Who's in the bridge? An Ursic scattervine. I may as well. On, and this guy can't move, huh? Too many choices. None of these guys can move. I may be dead, but I also may be alive. Cup Scoot back, please. Perfect form takes sweaty practice. Takes sweaty practice. Oh, baby. You know, I'm going to be able to... Okay, whoopsie doopsies. Whoopsie doopsies. Feels like most of our roster can't. Well, I went to the most expensive ones, and I just went add, 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 add. <laughs> Shit. Anything you command. I like the time pressure, like a whole lot, man. Reinforced. What is this little turd? Hey, it's a scatter vine. Wait, can you at wait? Careful out there. <laughs> nice. Disruptor beam. So these things. So, your abilities, can you cast those the turn that they're played? Or is there some sort of ability that's letting him play those? Alright, so, uh, a question I have right away is when I summon the Scattervine for zero. Oh, shit. Really? Okay, wait, wait a damn minute. The power! All right. You can pet first. For luck. Oh shit! This guy can't actually Both go anywhere. Ends are pointy. Uh, okay, well, this is good. This is putting the 40% on this. This is four. This, this thing is fucking rad. Wait, can this guy not do growth? Oh, you can't deploy more than six units at a time? Oh my god. Uh... Uh, today I learn. Dude, I had no idea you could only summon six of those. My entire strategy is ruined. That's probably reasonable. I wanted to just go infinite. All right, I, I think we might be able to pull it off. I'm not gonna lie. Get Unbelievably sick.
All right, these, these little guys totally stink. It's kind of cool to be able to watch the targeting, and I bet you that'll even get better. Distracted by my missing reflection. Oh yeah, Tipu just is constantly swelling up. Their vision is based on movement. It's okay, bro. Uh, what's the hurry? I'm getting zerg, man. Okay, so I think I know what we're gonna do. It's my turn. Could we throw the cinder at them? I'm swooping in. All right, we need to kill this right away. We need to. Real fur cup holders. This guy is slow and he is super fucked, so great. So if I do nothing, he might be able to do something good. This is... Oh, this didn't actually kill it. Oh, shit. Leather platform. Um... Fucking select it! Uh, shit. Uh, fuck. One win, one uh, 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 um, uh... All right, so that guy's fucking dead as shit. Trap prey. That was fun. I won't bite. All right, I'm gonna end the turn. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, no, I already that. Dude, this this healing plant is awesome, but I need I need to have a lot of range units to be able to do this. I'm surprised at how understandable this is in like my second ever multiplayer game. Oh, dude, this Tipu is way too fucking big, man. Oh, these these things are so annoying. Is there a way to say GG and concede? Threaten. You like the smell of Ferg's mouth. <laughs> no, we're fine. I'm gonna keep fighting. I don't even know who's in. Let them hurt you. Pushy, pushy. Meet and greet. Who trained you? All right, so these guys are all healing each other. Oh shit! Fuck you. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so in the bridge is a Tipu. So we go, yo, Tipu. How much damage does it have initially? Three? Okay, so first things first, we need to play the Tipu right away. Play the Tipu. You, into the breach, this. You. Move here, and then me melee kill the other Tipu. You are going to move over to here. I think we want to have a melee. That one. I'll keep my eyes on you. Move. So we're not going to be in range of fucking anybody. All right. My purpose glows within. I got this. Probably. Alright. That fucking sucked. Alright, I'm ending the turn. I mean, all my stuff is healing up, so that's pretty good.
Never give up, never surrender. What is this thing? Oh. Not that we need it. Wanna have a jam sesh? Dude, I didn't know there was a six nerd limit. I mean, half my, my dudes don't do anything, but still. Oh, shit. All right, we still have some reinforcements that can come out. My opponent has nothing in the bridge. So they might actually just go all in on these little bastards. All right. Oh yeah, dude, this, this Arya has been just sick. All right, what, what what's gonna happen? Oh, you missed! Fuck yeah! It's more scared of you. All right, what do we get? We got a. What does this thing do? It's a range that costs five. Okay, so if we then. You are gonna range like this. Got it. Missed. All right. What can you do? Takes sweaty practice. Dude, these these fucking little bastards are so difficult to deal with. Okay, so if we go, ah, I think I actually have to do this. So what I want to do now is I want to boost morale in order to bring out Fioria. Just gonna stack nerds around the hero. And let's into the breach this one. And hers is Fury didn't attack the turn, take one damage and you plus your attack for the next attack only. My skin, green Makita bomb. Shit. I didn't, I didn't attack, did I? If they try, they'll... Sh hit the fucking thing! Ah! All right. I'm struggling a bit to click on things, but that's okay. Ow. Maybe my hero dies this turn, but I actually think that we are like narrowly pulling into an, a potentially winnable position, but I think that like, I would four health left. Still got it. Dude, I just cleared the path. Shit. No, 89% miss one time. I deserved it. I hate to say it, I deserved it. But all right. My plan is semi-reasonable. It's semi-reasonable. Those little guys that summon. Oh, do you stay on the defeat screen forever? Okay. All right. Like, when I look at my collect and paint rosters, hot paint, baby. Um, This two cost, this Ursic Scattervine, I thought that I had the ability to swarm the map with these. I thought I was going to make like 50 of them, but you have a cap of six. Now, the fact that this can't attack, this can't attack, this can't attack, this can't attack, and this can't attack. These are all problems for me. <laughs> but I like the gist of this. I'm gonna make this sweet, slow control deck tomorrow. Uh, so I'm actually gonna update my calendar. I'm gonna update my calendar so it actually says Moonbreaker. So it actually says Moonbreaker. Admin, login, shows. Tomorrow's show is Moonbreaker, day two. <laughs>